Sitting for prolonged period can affect health even in those who follow the physical activity guidelines. It is still worse in those who do not follow the guidelines for physical activity. In fact, sitting for more than 5 hours a day has been considered to carry a cardiovascular risk equivalent to that of smoking. But heavy smoking of more than 40 cigarettes per day carries a relative risk of death of 4.08 while sedentary behavior has a hazard ratio of 1.22. So sitting cannot be considered as new smoking though sedentary behavior is not desirable. Sitting time would include sitting at work, television viewing time and similar static leisure activities as well as time spent traveling in automobiles. Any situation with energy expenditure of 1.5 metabolic equivalents METs, or less like sitting, reclining or lying posture has been called sedentary behavior. An interesting study evaluated the physical activity, sedentary time and cardiometabolic health in heavy goods vehicle drivers. It involved 329 heavy goods vehicle drivers from United Kingdom. 88.1% of the drivers were overweight or had obesity. Pre-diabetes or diabetes was found in 11.9% and 28.3% had hypertension. Elevated low density lipoprotein cholesterol LDL was noted in 83.6%. The drivers had 12 hours per day of sitting on work days. They had 1.7 hours per day of light physical activity and 9.8 minutes per day of moderate to vigorous physical activity. This should be considered in the background of the recommended minimum of 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity per day. A study using computed tomographic coronary angiography CTCAG enrolled 203 subjects at annual medical checkups with mean age of 57.6 years. Sitting time was categorized as short if less than 5 hours per day, moderate if between 5 to 9 hours and long if 10 hours or more. Parameters analyzed were coronary calcium score, plaque characteristics and severity of coronary artery stenosis. Increased sitting was independently associated with mixed plaque even after adjusting for age, gender, comorbidities, body mass index and lipid profiles. Higher coronary segment involvement score and coronary segment stenosis score were noted in those with longer sitting time. A systematic review with meta-analysis found 47 studies assessing sedentary behavior in adults adjusted for physical activity. They concluded that prolonged sedentary time was independently associated with deleterious health outcomes regardless of physical activity. The outcomes evaluated were cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer and all-cause mortality. Significant hazard ratios were documented for all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease mortality, incidence of cardiovascular disease, cancer mortality and incidence of type 2 diabetes mellitus. The effects were generally more pronounced at lower levels of physical activity than at higher levels. Another meta-analysis of 9 prospective cohort studies with 720,425 unique participants with a median follow-up of 11 years documented 25,769 unique cardiovascular events. They found a non-linear relationship between sedentary time and risk for cardiovascular disease with increased risk only at very high levels. Highest sedentary time category in their analysis had median sedentary time of 12.5 hours per day while the lowest sedentary time category had median 2.5 hours per day. An earlier meta-analysis included 6 studies with data from 595,086 adults with 29,162 deaths over a 
ത്രീ മില്യൺ ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റി നയൻ പേഴ്സൺ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫോളോ അപ്പ് ദ ഓൾസോ ഫോൺ ദാറ്റ് ദി അസോസിയേഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഡെയിലി ടോട്ടൽ സിറ്റിംഗ് ടൈം ആൻഡ് ഓൾ കോസ് മോർട്ടാലിറ്റി വാസ് നോൺ ലീനിയർ ദ മോഡൽ എസ്റ്റിമേറ്റഡ് എ തേർട്ടി ഫോർ പേഴ്സൺ ഹയർ മോർട്ടാലിറ്റി റിസ്ക് ഫോർ അഡൽട്സ് സിറ്റിംഗ് ടെൻ അവേഴ്സ് പെർ ഡേ ആഫ്റ്റർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഇൻ ടു അക്കൗണ്ട് ദ ഓൾസോ കൺക്ലൂഡഡ് ദാറ്റ് മോഡറേറ്റ് ടു വിഗ്രസ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി എപ്പിയർ ടു അറ്റ്വിനേറ്റ് ദി ഹസാർഡസ് അസോസിയേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഹൈ എമൗണ്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ഡെയിലി സിറ്റിംഗ് ടൈം വിത്ത് ഓൾ കോസ് മോർട്ടാലിറ്റി സിറ്റിംഗ് ഫോർ എ ലോങ് ടൈം കൻ ലീഡ് ടു ഒബീസിറ്റി മോസ്റ്റ്ലി എബ്ഡോമിനൽ വിത്ത് ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് ബ്ലഡ് പ്രഷർ ചാൻസ് ഫോർ ടൈപ്പ് ടു ഡയബറ്റിസ് മിലിറ്റസ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്ലാപ്പിഡീമിയ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ടിംഗ് മെറ്റബോളിക് സിൻഡ്രോം സ്റ്റാൻഡിംഗ് ഡെസ്ക് അറ്റ് വർക്ക് ആർ ബീങ് പ്രൊമോട്ടഡ് ടു അവോയ്ഡ് പ്രൊലോങ് സിറ്റിംഗ് This is in addition to methods of enhancing physical activity at work like using stairs instead of lift and having the parking slot a bit away to mandate walking. Prolonged sitting can also be linked to back pain, varicose veins and even deep vein thrombosis in situations like long haul flights. Working for long periods on a computer in an ergonomically unfavorable posture can get you pain in the neck as well. Here are the first set of journal references. Second set of references are here. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.